halted by the government's announced targets this week. This is essentially the kiss of death to the Great Barrier Reef, to our alpine areas, to Kakadu and to our national river systems. This will mean that the future of, of young generations of Australians is seriously compromised. It is something that we cannot stand by and watch. We have been waiting for leadership on climate change from Kevin Rudd. He was elected on this issue and he has not shown it. It is time for courageous leadership on climate change. We cannot stand by any longer and Australians must get out onto the streets to let our politicians know that this is, this is totally unacceptable. Our futures are seriously compromised. $4 billion have just been promised to the coal-fired power stations in this country with no requirements for them to reduce emissions. That is a cash handout, that is taxpayer money, that is money that will not be invested in renewable energy or energy efficiency, and it is simply unacceptable. If China says what's good enough for Australia is good enough for China, Chinese emissions will triple in the next 20 years. That Kevin, that's Kevin Rudd's policy, that's a death sentence to the planet, that's a suicide note. If he can't step aside and lead, then he should get out of politics and let us have a go. It's very important for us all to get informed and find out what's going on so we can be a voice of change and a voice of reason and a voice of information. So I urge you all to get out there and get informed on what's going on and talk about our environment and what we can do to help it and what we can do to look after it. Because it won't be able to help itself, it needs our support. It's our life support system and every time a part of our environment or one of our species dies, a part of us dies. The government's released the white paper and it includes um, starts with dodgy accounting, so uh, even though they're claiming a 5% decrease, it's in fact a 13% increase. This wasn't denied by the government officials, they just said that they accept the official accounting system, which includes um, some fudging around uh, land clearing rights that were revoked in Queensland. So we never actually saved any emissions between 1990 and 2000. So the whole thing is fraudulent, it can't be called a carbon pollution reduction scheme. It's actually designed to increase our carbon pollution. We need to actually go to zero carbon because uh, we're losing the Arctic ice sheet and we're going to have multi-metre sea level rise this century. It's going to wipe out port facilities, coastal people, river deltas and where our food production is. Kevin Rudd has got to step up to the plate or get out. I believe that Kevin Rudd is basically chicken out on his promises in the election and he's pretending to be a world leader but he's actually just slowing down the world progress. And so should get real and actually get serious about this and start implementing some changes. If we want to reach our goals for a sustainable future, there is no hope we're going to get there with this white paper. Rudd, you need to change. Come on, Ruddy. You talk the talk, let's walk the walk.